This might be one of the craziest news you hear today. South Africans have disrespected, or should I say insulted Davido in the worst way possible using Burner Boy. Wow. So why do I say this, you may ask? Mm. I want you to picture this. You are a musician in your humble side of South Africa, praying and begging that one day you also be popular, you blow. Then finally, finally, your time comes. And now because of you, everyone is behaving like an Agama lizard. Because of one song you made. All well, for the dances, some are nice. And then, some are... You know, let, let's just say you are popular now. Stars like Jason Derulo hop on this trend and now your song is big. And as you know, your song can't last forever. And even worse, no one knows you. The one you made the song but no one knows you. Your song has blown past you. Shit. So you come up with an idea. In order to lengthen the lifespan of this song, you decided to add features. Or let's just say the features decided to come to you. Either way, there was a feature. But now, a problem sets in. Before I tell you the problem, please leave a like on this video. Yeah, the thumbs up down there. Yes, it goes a long way to help the video. Just, just click it right now. What, what are you doing? And now this is a story of Titom and UP. <laughs> I know, I know, I know I'm going to butcher the names. Hey, don't, don't kill me, man. <laughs> Months ago, we didn't even know who they were. Now, everyone does. Well, um, people still don't know them. <laughs> These are the two prejudices of the story. They made this song, Shuala Bam. Yeah. Yes, I know, I'm butchering the name of the song. But, but come on, guys, do me a favor and, and don't come for my neck, man. <laughs> It was a good song, yes, it had the vibe. But it did not take off until three guys, three guys in black. They did a dance that would cause an epidemic to the world. The neck movement, eh? Or as Ghanaians would call it, the network dance. <laughs> this right here. Everyone is doing this shit right, you can imagine. And as you know, there are a lot of artists who also wanted to jump on this particular song because, I mean, this Songs are like sea waves, man. You don't go against the current, no, that is practically impossible. You go with the flow and then you hope to catch a wave so that you can surf. You get So one of the biggest artists in the world, African, called Davido, saw what was happening and decided to bless us with his vocals, you know. Uh, the shape is now very expensive, you know, <laughs> it's not cheap. Davido, that, that's a Grammy nominee we are talking about right here, you get know I me? Mean? Which was what brought us this video. Guys, do me a favor and watch this video. Well, what do you think? I mean, I, I like it. it it's, it's a different vibe. You know? Guys, uh, how do I say this? Um, the feedback was overwhelmingly negative. Yeah, I know. I've not said this thing before. Everyone knows overwhelmingly is related to positive. How Nick? How come? The feedback was mostly from South Africa. Like, it was crazy. Davido ruined it. They ruined everything. Please don't feature Davido or any Nigerian artist on this song. You managed to penetrate the international market without a feature as an unknown artist. Protect them, up here from Nigeria. You're out here chilling whilst Davido is ruining the song. Manje, I remix Enya. Manje, would Davido umfuna no coin remix? <laughs> Remove the video or else we'll take back the streams. Please don't feature anyone. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Guys, I can't make this thing up. Like, it, it was that bad. It was that bad. I was like, what? They didn't bully Tito and UP into like, caving in. Man, the Nigeria South Africa beef is not ending anytime soon. <laughs> then Niger came to the rescue, you know, to defend David Wu and all. You know, I, I like that. I like that. But this reminded me of a saying a wise man called David once said. If you hear a snippet, it's never coming out. <laughs> well, I don't know whether the he 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 was he 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 or <laughs> let's just say I, I don't understand. <laughs> I, I guess we saw the snippet, so it means one thing, it's never coming out. Okay, good. So now this brings us to the disrespect. Fast forward a few days ago, or let's just say yesterday, we received this headline. Benaboy is set to be featured on the remix of the viral hit record, Chualaba. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what? Let's just say the other FCs saw this and were like, oh, David, 
You there? You there? You finished on our hands. The South Africans just made the video a laughing stock to other FC. Oh my god. Oh my god. Timo, you pay why did you cave in? But Benaboy, well, well Benaboy has a track record of recording with South Africans. Like the Jerusalem and shit, you, you get that one, that was big. Let's just say he knows how to do the job too, you get me. The other thing that also shocked us was this video. Guys, do me a favor and watch this. Yep, that's Benaboy. You know what? This is the video that shook the internet. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Huh? Okay, so per observation, Bernard boy is going with the minor. He's trying to do some. Okay, I mean, but hey, Bernard, do you? No, no, no. Man, this guy doesn't joke with his ebo. Hey, and then on Instagram, the 30 BGs were pissed, right? Rightfully so, rightfully. So. One of them came out with a statement, and I read South African music duo Titon and Yupi, who are authors of the song Shwala Bam, have disrespected Davido in the worst way possible. Their Ama Piano song Shwala Bam has been the most viral song on the media space for the longest time now, but unfortunately, the song has blown and left the artist behind. People know the song but have no clue who the authors of the song are. The song is trending on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and everywhere, but the artists have only 20k followers on Instagram. For this reason, Titom and Yupe decided to remix the song with a popular Nigerian artist to push their names. It is on this note that they contacted Davido a few weeks back, and Davido agreed to drop a verse for them for free. But when the duo posted a snippet of Davido's verse, South Africans expressed so much disappointment in Davido's verse, saying that it wasn't good. They advised the duo to remove Davido from the song. A few hours ago, a video of Benna Boy in the studio recording a verse for the same song surfaced online. It's alleged that the duo deleted Davido's verse and decided to pay Benna Boy 600 million naira for a perfect verse. This is a big slap to Davido's face. Man. Man, if it's true, wow, that, then that's bad. That's bad. Hey, I'm not, I'm not supporting anybody. But one thing I've realized in the music industry is that sometimes, sometimes, sometimes the fans are not right. Don't listen to them. Go with your instinct. Sometimes they are wrong. You caved in. Well, understandable. You guys are also new to the game and you want to blow. So I, I get it. I get it. It's like you understand. You've got new fans. You just want to keep them happy. But you've also lost a friend. You know, because if you put yourself in Davido's shoes, I mean, all that dance for nothing, for nothing. Ah, uh ah, -uh. Davido not a dance by heart, by <laughs> Davido. Mashay on him, mashay on him. All right, no. <laughs> So guys, what do you think about this whole thing? You know what, just tell me. Put it in the comment section below. I'm listening. And one thing, guys, leave a like and also subscribe to this channel, right? Yeah, let's let's get to 100k before the year ends. So about David and Shwalabam. Oh. Oops.